we install this home's radon mitigation system, we can do some diagnostics on the home to see how well we're, our system will eventually communicate on the slab. This can help you determine before you do your installation what type of fan you need and also potentially how many suction points you need, especially if there's separate footings around the basement that you're worried about communicating across. So with this home, we do have some different footings and we've got, it's an older home, so we've got some concerns about communication. So Incenzio is gonna start his shop back over here and start at this, uh, uh, where we're gonna eventually locate our radon mitigation penetration point, and then we're gonna drill some holes throughout the slab to do a communication test. Okay, we've got the shop vac set up to do communication testing. We have our pilot hole drilled right where we want our suction point. And we've got our pilot holes drilled around the basement to do our communication testing. So he's going to go ahead and turn the shop vac on. So the shop vac is now running. And we're going to put uh, the shop vac on our pilot hole here. This is going to be the center of our primary suction point right next to this plumbing here. And so now uh, he's connected to that. We've gone over about five feet away from that uh, suction point to do a communication test. And you can see we're going to have a pretty good draw here. It's a negative. Okay, there it goes. Negative 0.18. So that's a pretty good draw. And it should draw pretty well. It's so close to the, uh, to the suction point. We're going to just make sure we're communicating uh, on the other side of a small footing there. We're going to walk over to the other end of, the, of this area of the basement along a, an exterior wall footing and see if we're communicating the footings around the perimeter. And that's an important uh, place to check farthest away from your suction point to see if you're communicating and you can see that we are. So we know that we're getting a pretty good uh, suction around the footings. Uh, it's not as good as the other suction point, mind you, but it's still a decent uh, negative drawing of air down there. So now we're gonna test near a plumbing stack that's connected underneath the concrete slab to our primary suction point uh, to see if we're communicating over here and wow are we ever 0.27 negative so that's a really good communication across this whole slab so we feel pretty confident that we're communicating uh, in this area of the basement within the footings now you can see there's a brick wall right there so on the other side of this wall that's a big footing and now we're over in another area of the basement that we're concerned if we're going to be able to communicate over here so we're gonna go, we drill the pilot hole along the footing and we're gonna do a communication test here. And as you can see from this reading, we're really not communicating over here. So logically, we're thinking, hey, we do need that extra suction point on the other side of this footing. And then that's where you would start your communication test again on this side of the footing. If it's a relatively low rate on a level, you may just start with one side and see where you get it to. Uh, or you can tell the customer, hey, we do need that extra footing. So that's how you use this uh, pressure field extension testing to determine your suction points.